guys, it's Shannon, also known as Shannon Creates. I'm coming straight from my living room with my messy hair to show you a quick DIY project. I'll be working on a bridal shower backdrop or photo backdrop if you guys want to use it that way. This is just a great inexpensive project um, if you're looking to take product photos, if you're looking for some sort of backdrop for an event or something like that. I built mine using PVC pipe, just needed a little paint and then some other supplies I'll be showing you. All supplies will be listed down below, um, but the supplies I used is I got two six foot PVC pipes, one five foot, two elbows, four one foot PVC pipes with four end caps if you want them, and then two T's. You'll notice my paint's kind of like worn off on some of these pieces and they're a little dirty. We've already used this backdrop. Um, I highly recommend, I've already painted mine and I'll show a picture of that. It was 30 degrees the day we painted it, so I did not film that, but um, I highly recommend sanding your PVC or priming it before you painted it. I made that mistake, so some of my paint is coming off, um, but do that before. And now I'll show you how to put the, this together and we can show the rest. But thanks for following along, guys. So as you guys can see, I already have one side of my stand done. So I'm gonna work on my other side. I'm gonna take my one, one foot PVC pipe, attaching it to a T to another one foot piece of PVC pipe with my two end caps, putting in the six foot tall pole, and then putting in my elbow for the top. And then those are my two stands. And then just taking my five foot piece of PVC and connecting it to the top. If you guys want a longer backdrop, I suggest getting, um, you know, a six, seven, eight foot piece of PVC for the top part. And that way you can have a longer, wider backdrop. But this one I just needed for a couple people to stand in front of. I apologize for the bad angle, but my living room is very small. But here's the finished stand by itself. Now I'm just taking the stand apart and putting this backdrop curtain I bought off of Amazon on it. I chose to put this on it just because I wanted it to make it look more bridal and elegant for her bridal shower. I am my sister's maid of honor, so I wanted to make her a nice photo backdrop. So I just hung that on there like a curtain. And then putting it back up, I had to stand on my couch because I am only five foot tall. And then spreading that across. It actually worked really well with the size PVC I got. So that is your DIY backdrop. You can use this for product photos, for an event. I added a simple white photo backdrop that I ordered off of Amazon so that, you know, there was a little contrast. I have currently natural light facing me. I don't have any studio lights on me, so this is what it looks like. If you had studio lights, I'm assuming that it would look way better. Um, I'm going to be making mine a little bit more bridal themed, so I'm going to be adding some wreaths to it. And I'm showing you, I already picked up my fake flowers and eucalyptus. I also picked up three metal rings from the craft store in the macrame section. I already painted them gold to go along with the theme and I'll show you how to make those and add them to your backdrop. So I'm taking my eucalyptus and just kind of laying it where I'd like it to go on my wreath. Cutting pieces as I need to. I've already done my two larger wreaths, so I'm working on my smaller one for an example.
And because the stems work so well, you can just kind of wrap it around your wreath to start with. I decided to clip mine. I just didn't want too much foliage. I really wanted the gold ring to show as well. And then I'm just taking a piece of floral wire and cutting that little piece to secure this eucalyptus. I like to go in with pliers to kind of help me pinch it and make sure it's tight around the ring. going in and trimming eucalyptus leaves as I need and I'm adding a couple smaller different shade of green eucalyptus leaves as I go just to create a little bit more of a contrast. Um, these also kind of had little white flowers at the end which I thought created you know a little bit more of a unique bouquet. And then I took some fishing line to attach them. I used fishing line so that it couldn't be seen and it was more discreet and really tied those florals tight to And then just going in and playing with those leaves a little bit, adjusting them. I did end up trimming a little bit of some of them just to make it a little bit more focused on the hoop and then I went in and I added some of these white flowers. I got these flowers from Joann's. I actually got some of these flowers as well from Dollar Tree so it's possible to make these hoops really inexpensive. I decided for my smallest hoop I was going to do one white rose and for my second largest hoop I was going to do two and for my largest one I was going to do three so that they really went well with each other. And then just taking more of that fishing line to attach the last flowers.
forgot to film how to hang the reeds. So you will take your fishing line and basically you just take a needle and thread one side through the very top of it and tie it on the top. And it looks like they're invisible and hanging. Easy peasy. Thanks guys so much for following along. And that is your finished bridal backdrop. Here is a photo of my sister and I on the day of her bridal shower. I hope you loved this video and thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other social medias or my website, shannoncreatesdesigns.com for more.